All right, and the world of rock climbing, the documentary Dawn Wall is considered the goat, or I guess mountain goat. Yeah, you could say it's a real cliffhanger. <laughs> But there's another doco from the same director and Anna spoke to one of the serious climbers. She's more of a social climber like us. Yeah, she is. Yeah, we're all the same. Yeah. He is pushing things, but it's pretty much a no. I'm Marc-Andre Leclerc. I'm a climber, generally speaking. That's Marc-Andre, the best climber of his generation by a long shot. A free soloist that could climb every type of face there was. Ice, rock, you name it. And he did it with no ropes. What I'm doing is on rock. And then I see Marc Andre free soloing on ice and snow. I can tell the Marc Andre stories all day. He also didn't care if anyone knew. He just loved to climb. First time I heard about Marc, he was living in a snow cave on the parkway or something. Marc was different than any climber I know, and he was the best climber I've ever known. And that's Brett Harrington, Mark's partner, who I had the privilege of interviewing about this film because tragically Mark passed away in an avalanche near the end of filming this documentary. A climber has gone missing. He didn't do it for any, anyone else and he didn't do it for validation, but at the same time, you know, especially since he's gone now, are you glad that there's this film left behind that people can really see who he was and also just, I guess, how incredible of, an, of a climber he was? That is exactly how I feel. Like, I feel really fortunate that they were able to capture all that footage of Marc Andre, or else it was really just me and, like, this handful of people in the climbing community that truly understood what he did, but not that many people grasped because the, the achievements were just on such a different level that it was hard to understand. I felt like I just, like, had this knowledge of this incredible person that I just loved so much, and that was, like, all to myself. But now the world gets to see who the real Mark was. How was it? Scary? No, not particularly. No, just another day out. <laughs> A really good day out. Anna Wilcox, Crowd Goes Wild. Oh, is that Alpinist or Alpinist? Anyway, I think it's Alpinist. Mm. And um, Kate Roger from TV3 gave it four stars. Four stars. Yeah, yeah always, four, always, always stars. Stars. That looks like um, an amazing movie to watch. It's so tragic because that guy was a total legend and you could tell the director was saying, this is going to showcase who we think is the best, you know, the, the best of all time. And, yeah, I, I think that's the only reason why they're doing the spoiler is because... Mm. None of those people really wanted to talk about it unless they could pay tribute to their, you know, their, their loved one who's gone.